How hard is it really to go 20 and 0 in Madden 24? I'm about to put that to the test with my knowledge and questionable Madden skills. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, not good. This board right here is filled with NFL teams. The first team that we pull will be our base team, which will include the defense and offensive line. From here, I will be picking seven other random teams, acquiring players to positions as I attempt to build a roster good enough for a perfect season. Now, I'm going to have five attempts to do so, and if I fail, I'm going to be giving away a $100 Xbox or PlayStation gift card to one of you guys, so make sure you're subscribed. My first team is already built, by the way. You know what? I don't know. I'm not that disappointed in the squad. The Falcons O-line wasn't terrible, so we didn't pick anybody there. And being able to add Miles Garrett and Roquan Smith, which were two huge positions and needs on defense, should definitely help us out quite a bit. It is now time to put this roster to the test. Oh my goodness. The first game is against the league's worst team. I'd hope we'd be able to win this. Yes. There we go. That's one game in the back. Up next is the Packers. Their team's an 80. Ours is an 85. Here we go. Come on. Let's go two for two. We Are you kidding me? We lost 14 to 20 in overtime. Ah. <sighs> So I already wasted one out of my five attempts, which is that much closer to getting you guys a $100 gift card. Let's flip these cards over, give it a little bit of a shuffle. And this is arguably the most important tile that we're gonna flip our base team with our offensive line, the Raiders. I think their O-line's trash, isn't it? Oh, this is gonna be a challenge. I mean, we got Max Crosby. We're gonna go down four over three. Come on, give me a good team. The Chargers, I think we could deal with that. It's either Justin Herbert or Derwin James. You know what, we're gonna try Herbert for now. I just don't know yet if we need a guy like Mahomes to be able to pull this off. There he is though, not bad. You know what, I'm just gonna close my eyes for our third pick. Okay, here we go. Green tile, the Rams. We got to go AD. It's just a disgusting pair on the defensive line between he and Max Crosby. Pick four is this one. Green treated us pretty good. Last time we got the Bills. Oh, we could have had Josh Allen. It's okay though. This right here is actually really nice. And toss him in as our wide receiver number one. This one right here is screaming at me. I don't know why. Oh boy. It's got to be JT, right? Not really that excited about this one gonna be honest. Well, fine then. Let's go down three, over two, purple, Buccaneers. Mike Evans is screaming my name. Pizza, pizza. After that, we got Bengals. Dang it. The defense stinks. And I don't even think they have a tight end. <laughs> this is so bad, dude. We have to go Chidobia Wuzie. Final pick here for tight end. We got Jets. Welcome to the team. Tyler Conklin. <laughs> this team has no chance. All right, I almost just want to get this round over with. We were set up with a terrible offensive line to start, but on top of the bad O-line, our linebackers are awful. But we did build a team, so let's go to next week. Let's see if we can just go 1-0. and Oh boy, we? Oh, we did. Oh, geez, we versed the Bills now, which I will say we did steal Stephon Diggs from him, which is their highest overall player. Shoot. <laughs> we lost in week two twice in a row. All right, let's move on. Team three. Here goes nothing. Our base team will be the Broncos. They have a good defense, kinda? <laughs> Let's add our first player, sticking with purple, the Eagles. It almost seems dumb in a way to stick with a quarterback with my first pick every time, but I'm not passing up on Jalen Hurts. Toss them on in there. After that, how about this red tile? Washington Commanders. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go Scary Terry. Pick four in round three, Baltimore Ravens. Not to be lame, but we really need a middle linebacker. We're going Roquan Smith again. I know it didn't work the first time, but... Hey, it shouldn't hurt. We're gonna stick in this row and we're gonna get the Kansas City Chiefs. This is exactly why you don't pick quarterback right away, kids. This is an easy Travis Kelsey pick though at a 99 overall. We finished off the final three rounds with getting the Raiders, which I took Josh Jacobs. Then the Bengals, we luckily still had a spot for Jamar Chase, followed up by the Atlanta Falcons where we took their X Factor, Jesse Bates. There it was, just like that. Our third team was officially assembled, ready to take on the challenge. Here we go. This is a look at what our offense actually looks like. Five X factors on this side. And on defense, despite our decrepit defensive line, we have three more X factors along with Justin Simmons. I definitely like this team a lot. This might be my favorite squad so far. At this point, I'm just hoping we can make it past week number two. So let's go. I'm ready to just fail in week number one regular season. Hey, 
One and oh, what do you know? All right, the dreaded week number two, we're taking on the Commanders, and we won. And we got a weekly award. Jesse Bates, three interceptions, lads. Oh, this is what I hate, though. We're taking on the Miami Dolphins. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got a win. Dude, I didn't even realize our offense is an 89 overall. We're probably putting up points, boys. Okay, Chicago. They're 0-3. No games a gimme, but yes, give it to me. The 2-2 two two Jets are next. We beat them also, moving us to 5-0. and oh. At what point does this get serious? This right here is the exact reason why it stinks to be in the AFC West. Not only do we got to beat the Chiefs in week six, we also got to beat them in week number eight. We're about to go in here and do this the old-fashioned way. We're going to be simming this entire game and watching it live as it goes down. We need to put up some points because we're already losing and this is not looking good for us. Guys, okay, this is fine. We're, no, we're losing again. Give me the comeback. Show me some sort of lead. Oh boy, fourth quarter. Oh, we're winning. We're winning. We're doing it. Please. Come on. It's about to go into overtime. Yes, we did it. An overtime win to keep us alive, 23-17. Wow. Oh my gosh, that got my heart beating. So we're six and zero. Oh. We have the Packers and we won. And the Chiefs are on a little bit of a downturn. This is probably the scariest game that we have left on our schedule as well. Did we win? Oh yeah, 21-14. Oh shoot, I actually didn't realize we have a really tough game coming up. It's against Buffalo, but they're five and four. This is getting so real. It is getting very real. We're about to be taking on an 87 overall offense in the Minnesota Vikings. This would move us to 10 and 0 if we get this. And we did it. I'm not too sure if we're gonna have many more opportunities like the one we have now. Yo, we have a breakout linebacker, another weekly. It seems like every week we're getting one of these weekly awards. Baron Browning? Wait, what? Randoms on our team are upgrading, which is helping. At this point, we're just hoping for the win. Maybe we get a little cherry on top of the Brandon Browning dev upgrade. We got the win. Get the heck out of here. I was hoping he'd have, it's on my phone. Oh, he didn't get it. Again, with all the teams that we beat, I'd hope we'd be able to move past Houston and not get knocked off by him. We did. Hey, these boys are cooking. This is a very scary one versus the Chargers. Uh, regardless of the record, they have a crazy solid roster. We're gonna win. Of course we're gonna win. Eight and five Detroit now. Oh, this is another really good team. Let's just go for it. We're sending. Come on. 14 and 0. Let's freaking go. Patriots, six and eight. No way is Bill Belichick knocking us off of this. We have a legitimate chance to make it out of the regular season, 15 and 0. We have two left in the regular season, 16 and 0. We're here, two and 14 Raiders, boys. This is a gimme. If we win this, I mean, regardless, if we win this, we skip the wild card, 17 and 0, regular season. We beat the Raiders by five, and we have that all important first round by i'm crapping my pants right now new look at our lineup going into the playoffs i mean no wonder why we're winning these games i mean our old line as well is looking a lot better than <laughs> that defense man heck yes this is our first playoff game so we're gonna have to watch this get simmed boys we're taking on the new york jets we're at home we didn't steal any of their players end of game we're watching this go down as we speak already losing i don't like this anymore why is our offense not putting up points don't you freaking dare do this how butthurt do you want me to be? Give me a chance! Get- What are you wearing on your head? It's a hat. I hate this. <sighs> what went wrong? <laughs> you know? Why? <laughs> that close, people. That close. Let's move on. We still have two more chances. We kind of know what we're doing a little bit better now. <clears throat> Don't really know how to respond after that one. Just a whole bunch of disappointment. I mean, I was at a high, dude. We were at the top of the roller coaster. We're hitting the shuffle again. Our base team is going to be the Baltimore Ravens. Heck yes. Now, we don't get Lamar, but we get their entire defense. One of the best defenses in the NFL. We are taking that. Yes, sir. Let's go here. And it's the Falcons. You know what? Let's go ahead and throw Kyle Pitts in at the tight end spot. I, I think I really like that. We're going to get Patriots. Oh, give me Matt Judon, I guess. Don't really love seeing a team like that. What about the Jets? Oh, yeah. Let's not overthink. This is kind of an obvious pick. Toss them on in there. There. Look at our DBs right now. Disgusting. Let's go right here. Red tile. Texans. I could go CJ Stroud, but then again, is that good enough to go 20 and 0? Oh man, unless if we cop out and get Damian Pierce. I almost want to take a shot with Stroud. This is probably stupid. We're going to go with Damian Pierce here. Just going to give ourselves another chance at a, a better quarterback, which again, there's no guarantee of that. We get the... Mm. 
Okay. Well, it's either Baker Mayfield, Chris Godwin, or Mike oh. Evans. I kind of want to go Godwin this time, but do I really? No, I don't. Mike Evans, put him back in. Thank you for making me a part of this. Two spots left. We've got a quarterback and wide receiver we got to go for. And that is definitely Cooper Cup, leaving us with one final spot that's going to give us our quarterback. I'm thinking this spot here is... Shit. I don't think this season's going to go too well. That's what we get for risking it. But I mean, on the other hand... We didn't get many teams with great quarterbacks. I don't know. I know our luck was bad in my head. I feel like we wasted a super good base team. You know what? We're going to rip the Band-Aid off. We're going to go to midseason. Eight games down. See if we could start eight. No. Oh, dang it. We actually did pretty good. We lost 0 to 31 to the Steelers. Oh, man. All right, we got one more try at this. The pressure is straight up on like no other. All right, we got a randomizer. We're going to go with this right here for our base team. It is... We got another shot at this, people. Okay, you're probably disappointed, but hey, whatever, who cares? Okay, let's go above them. We're gonna get the Tennessee Titans. That is most certainly gonna be Derrick Henry, obviously. Our second player will be right here, the Miami Dolphins. Give me... We have to go Tyreek Hill, definitely. Again, we're really relying on getting a good quarterback. We're not gonna get one here, but I am gonna take Patrick Sertain. Once again, we have a stupid secondary. This is actually kind of insane so far. We get the Seattle Seahawks. It's kind of gotta be DK Metcalf. Pop out this green one right here. We get the Rams. Mm, you know what? We, we could use right end, right? Yeah, we're going to go Aaron Donald. Quarterback and tight end left. We're going to complete the square. We're going tight end for the Chicago Bears. I'm not taking Justin Fields. This is stupid. It's all coming down to another tile square where we don't have a quarterback yet. Let's go. Purplish square here. Please give me something good. Okay. I. We failed with him once already but it could be way worse. Trevor Lawrence gonna finish off our offense. This might be my favorite team, actually. I know we went, what, 18-0 before we lost a game? This team might have the chance to do it. It's really gonna come down to this guy. I can do it. Hear me out, after getting Aaron Donald, there is no longer a single gap on our defense. Everybody is solid. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do this thing. Week one, was a win. We got a scary Bengals team up next. We won. We're now 2-0. By the way, we won 27-0. That's pretty impressive. Week three, we win. Uh, I am feeling really good about this team. The overall is crazy. 4-0. We got the Steelers up next. We are now 5-0. 6-0. Let's go. It's a tougher matchup versus the Lions. Come on, boys. All my hands are getting sweaty again. I don't like this. This is too much pressure. We've been doing this for too long. 14-6, really? Oh. 